I mean, have you ever been to a premiere like that with the energy and that crowd reaction? Like, what was it like for you? Were you watching as fans? Were you critique? Like, how were you watching the film last night? <laughs> I, 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 I was, oh, I've been waiting for this film for so many years. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. I remember when they announced yeah. Black Panther and Chad was being in it. I was like, oh, I can't wait to yeah, see that. Yeah, to see that. Yeah, and yeah. Then the fact that we was there as yeah. one of the first yeah. people, it was like, it was an honor being one of the yeah. first people yeah. to see that. Um, and I, I don't think I saw it. I feel like I didn't yeah. see it. Like I was there, I was watching myself. I was taking in the audience themselves. I'm deeply vested in everything that's happening. I'm deeply vested in the room. I'm deeply <laughs> vested in my co-stars doing well and everything going well. You know, it was just a lot to take in. Mm -hmm. And just feeling that energy in the room and hearing the, the, messages, the messages and the imagery, ugh. Yeah. Oh. God. It's a special experience. Yeah. It was a special experience. Yeah. The movie's <clears throat> called Black Panther, but the movie wasn't about just the Black Panther. Every character had a development. They mm -hmm. all grew. They mm -hmm. all had a moment. Um, one, I think, I mean, there was, you guys, it was all, uh, Denai was just to know. I mean, can we just talk about Denai for a minute? Magnificent. When she came up the in the casino and in the yes. red dress. Yes. I put it Come icon. on, man. That's, a, that's an iconic moment. Yeah. yeah. And just to see a strong woman, a strong black woman in our time. Mm -hmm. To say that know. she doesn't want to wake. You know, <laughs> yes. Yeah. To, to have agency in her hair and her description, her representation of how she looks. It's all agency, you know what I mean? And and it really reflects the the, the landscape that we're in right now, the type of world that we live in right now. Um, last year there was an iconic film, Wonder Woman came out, and that did a lot for female empowerment. Yes. Um, from what critics are already saying about this movie, about the impact it's going to have on just culture, and yes. it's just going to be a part of this conversation for, yes. this is when it changed. Yes. Do you guys feel like th 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 this movie's gonna be, you know, but that moment changed when Black Panther came out? I, I felt that on set. Mm -hmm. I felt that on set when I, when, so there were certain sequences and I was like, I've never ever seen mm -hmm. stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, if I've never seen, and I've watched a lot of films, mm -hmm. imagine how a 10 year old's gonna feel. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. imagine what a like, five year old's gonna feel. Mm -hmm. They go, whoa. And, that, and I think the, the goal of this film is not for that generation to see it, see it as special, it's mm -hmm. to see it as normal. A standard, mm -hmm. and that's and that's and this is a film that's saying that. And it's also really important to remember that this film isn't going to present the answer to mm -hmm. anything. I think it's going to continue the conversation. It's going to lend itself to the broader conversation, and the broader conversation of you know intersectional race and uh, uh, gender. And, and what power looks like for both those things and how they mesh, you know what I mean? And seeing Denai, seeing Lupita, seeing Angela, mm -hmm. you know Letitia. what I mean? Letitia, you know, just different forms of black female strength. It, it, it says a lot and it, it, it will do a lot, like you said, for, for little children to kind of see this and consume material that looks and feels like this while they're growing. <laughs> yeah, this man. guy got nominated for an Oscar a couple weeks ago. I mean, <laughs> has he been walking around with a little, little, little swag last couple weeks or what? Nah, I mean. man, you know, <laughs> the time is right. It's his time. Like, yeah. you watch Get Out and you know uh -huh. the, the film ascended to icon status immediately and he did that. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I watched, I was watching in, in the film and I was looking around because I always do this when I'm in the theater. I'm looking around, I'm watching how other people are perceiving it. And it reminded me, like the thing that struck me the most, I come from theater. And the thing I love about theater is that the performance is in the room. So your audience is kind of like your lost character. You don't know what the show is until mm -hmm. you actually perform it mm -hmm. and they consume it and they actually give the last bit of energy. And it reminded me of a theater performance, like a black box, intimate theater performance where everyone's dialed in watching. And I said, wow, this, this is it. This is it, and he's it. And the time is now. Love and he's bro. brave, and he's brave. Like this, love my bro. Jeez.